Welcome to Today in Sneaks. I am your host, Jacques Slade. And if you thought the era of printed foam posits was over, well, it's not. Seen here in what many are calling Asteroid, the Nike Air Foam Posit Pro features a black to yellow gradient with purple and orange in between. The upper also features video game style asteroids across the upper as well. Another distinctive feature on the shoe is the gradient outsole and the liner. Details on an exact release date are slim, although most are leaning towards holiday 2013. I am a big fan of customized sneakers and one of my favorite customizers is JBF Customs. He has a very unique eye when it comes to design and his latest Air Jordan 6 ostrich and denim really shows his vision. The forefoot uses Japanese salvage denim while the heel and ankle use genuine ostrich skin. JBF also went as far as altering the tongue and heel to give the shoe a more luxurious look. These are a one of one that he did for a friend of his. However, if you are interested in the ostrich and denim, make sure you hit him up at jbfcustoms.com. Puma may not always be at the top of your sneaker list. However, the latest offering from the brand just might change that. Created for fall 2013, the Puma by Mihara Yoshihiro MY71 is the take on the RS100 runner that looks absolutely great in my opinion. Caribbean Sea Blue and the Cabernet mix well on the upper and the hairy bone pattern really stands out against the upper over the TPU cage. These are priced at $179 and will release at Sneakers and Stuff on September 21st as well as other Puma Black Label retailers. Nike ID and Jordan brand teased us just a bit over the weekend, but it looks like things are live now. If you like to make your kicks glow in the dark, you can now grab the Spizike on Nike ID as a limited option. Now also on the Jordan side, new images of the Air Jordan 28 in the elephant print. If you haven't heard, I love playing in the 28 and recommend anyone that plays ball to actually give these a try. I really like that red elephant colorway of the two, but the cement gray isn't bad at all. You can look for both of these colorways to release at Jordan brand retailers on September 21st. And for the sneakerhead of the day today, I'm going with Mike L. Just Nice. He has a great collection of Jordans, has some nice Reeboks. I saw a nice pair of Kamikazes on his page, but he also mixes it up with some luxury kicks, which is pretty dope as well. Now, if you want to be the sneakerhead of the day, all you have to do is follow me over on Instagram. My Instagram name is Kusto, and make sure you use the hashtag WearYourKicks. Well, that's going to do it for the show today, so make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something new is happening here on this channel. And also, click the links down in the description for the full stories of everything that I talked about today. Well, I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks. Click in here somewhere for something random. Yeah, and I'll see you soon. Peace. Now, I don't usually do this, but as... A USB head and a beard uh, I'm going to recommend that you go ahead and subscribe And I know what you're thinking Jock probably just doing the voice And I can't really talk But I can really talk Because I'm James Harden USB head and a beard So go ahead, subscribe Thank you, much appreciated Oh, oh wa watch the video too Yeah, alright, signing off It's the beard and the head That's on the USB not the real James Harden, FYI.